Don't meddle in the election. President Trump facing criticism today for that lighthearted tone that he struck with Russian President Vladimir Putin at the G20 summit. The two leaders meeting for the first time since the release of the Mueller report. And it comes ahead of a highly anticipated face to face meeting just a few hours from now. President Trump will take part in a bilat with Chinese President Xi amid a raging trade war and an issue that has a lot of uh, folks in the economic world and Wall Street on edge. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts live again tonight for us in Osaka, Japan. Good morning to you, John. Martha, good morning to you and a little bit of breaking news to start us off. Our spider sense has been tingling for days now about what will happen after the president leaves the G20 and goes to South Korea. Would he possibly visit the DMZ? And within just the last few minutes, the president tweeting this out, quote, after some very important meetings, including my meeting with President Xi of China, I will be leaving Japan for South Korea with President Moon. While there, if Chairman Kim of North Korea sees this, I would meet him at the border DMZ just to shake his hand and say hello. Sounds like kind of an open invitation type of thing, but I'm, I'm getting a pre-cooked sense about this. Now to what's going to happen today. Last night, the chief uh, trade negotiators for the United States and China got together to lay the groundwork for today's summit between the president and President Xi Jinping. Uh, the, this meeting could determine whether trade talks with China get back on track in a bilateral meeting with Brazil's president, President Trump, building on the anticipation. Listen here. We'll see what happens. It'll be an exciting day. A lot of people are talking about it, and uh, it's very interesting, and uh, it's going to come out hopefully well for both countries, and ultimately it will work out. What happens in the Xi meeting is going to be the big news today, but people still talking about the president's bilateral meeting yesterday with Vladimir Putin of Russia in particular. An on-camera mic moment that was not caught by American TV. American TV wasn't in the room, only Russian TV was, as the president was sharing a rather caustic joke about his favorite foil, the news media, with Putin. Listen here. The president also appearing to joke about another very serious subject, Russian meddling in the U.S. elections. Now, it's a question that has been asked and answered several times by the president, whether he will speak or whether he has spoken to Putin about Russian interference in the election. And it came up again today. But rather than answering the question, the president did something a little differently. Listen here. The president's critics didn't see the humor in the president's uh, interaction there with Vladimir Putin. The Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer tweeting, quote, the joke is on us and Putin's the only one laughing. President Trump is basically giving Putin a green light to interfere in 2020. And in an extraordinarily rare move, the former president, Jimmy Carter, publicly criticizing the president while he was overseas. Listen here. He lost the election and he was put into office because the Russians interfered on his behalf. So do you believe President Trump is an illegitimate president? <laughs> Based on what I just said, which I can't retract. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a longstanding policy that politics ends at the water's edge, that you do not criticize the American president while he or she is overseas. So President uh, Carter breaking tradition uh, with that, uh, which really was a rather extraordinary moment. But, of course, what we're all focused on now, uh, Martha, is whether or not we, we had an inkling that the president would travel to the DMZ. But it sounds to me like something might be already arranged. We saw that handshake between President Kim, Chairman Kim and President Moon last year. Maybe we'll see the same thing between President Trump and Chairman Kim as they shake hands across the DMZ tomorrow in South Korea. We'll see. That would be quite an image uh, in quite a moment. John, thank you so much.